Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jesse. In this video, I will be teaching you how to set up an Nginx ingress controller on a Kubernetes cluster hosted by Amazon Web Services. An ingress controller acts as a load balancer to allow inbound traffic to your cluster, and then you define the ingress rules depending on how you want to route traffic to the pods in your cluster. In this video, we will be routing by path, which means depending on the path of the URL you provide, it will direct traffic to predefined services. To start off, I'm going to pull up VS Code and have a terminal open where I can paste commands into my terminal and they will be available to you as well on GitHub. I have a new instance of Ubuntu 20.04 running as a Linux container on my machine, so we will SSH into this and set up our environment to be able to deploy our cluster. And then we will just start installing our packages. So first we'll snap install Helm. And now we need the kubectl client installed on our container. Now we will install EKSCTL, which is a CLI tool that allows us to create an EKS cluster in the cloud with just one command. I'm using a MacBook with an M1 chip, so I have to use the ARM64 environment variable. If you have a different architecture, use those. Now we need to install the AWS CLI. Now you will just run AWS configure to enter your access key and secret key. But I will not show you mine. Now that we have everything configured, we can create our EKS cluster by running the command EKS CTL create cluster demo. And this will spin up a cluster in the cloud. Uh, just want to warn you, it does cost money to run an EKS cluster and it is slightly expensive so I want you to make sure that you delete this cluster after you are all done. Now, uh, now it looks like our setup is complete and you can run kubectl git nodes to see our cluster. So it looks like we have two compute nodes in US West 2. Now we are going to install our ingress nginx repo with the help of Helm. So we're just going to copy and paste this Helm repo add command in. And now we will create a namespace for our nginx ingress service. And now we will Helm install it onto our cluster in the nginx ingress namespace. Now it looks like it has been created. Now we can run kubectl git service nginx ingress and it looks like it has provisioned a resource for us with an external IP. This external IP is able to be reached from the public facing internet. So you can copy and paste this URL into the browser and see if we can reach it. And it looks like we got a 404 not found. And that is just because we have not set up any ingress rules and it doesn't know how to process our request. Now we'll go back to our VS code and we will deploy two services. So here's two pods that I already have de defined with YAML. They're just two hello world, world pods. And we can just copy and paste that into our terminal. Now we will need to define our ingress rules in ingress.yaml. So we have our ingress.yaml file. It is a kind ingress. The name is server foo. And then you define the host, which is the ingress controller. And then the path to it is slash foo. And that's where we'll be able to reach it at. So we just need to replace the host and then apply the file. And also, we need to replace the host for the slash bar service. 
and then we'll copy and paste this into the terminal and apply it. And it looks like we created two ingress services. <clears throat> and they are pointing to our host. So let's let's go to this in the browser and see if this works. So we just go to the address bar and then type in our paths. So look, it looks like it is working. So I get a response back of hello world version 1.0 and then it's from the host server foo. And then we'll see if it works for bar as well. And it looks like it does. So we are routing traffic through the ingress controller to our specific pods. This is great. So now you know how to route traffic to different services using an ingress controller. There is more to explore in this topic, but that is it for this video. Now, to ensure you don't get charged too much by AWS, you want to run EKS CTL delete cluster demo and it will clean up everything that we just created in AWS. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching.